Feeding a fifth of the global population isn't easy for China, especially with under 10 percent of the planet's arable land. Unfortunately, not all land is suitable for cultivation. In northwest China's Shizuishan, scientists are revitalizing the soils that have long been infertile. This circum field used to be a barren land covered with a layer of salt crust. The soil was too harsh even for the toughest crops to grow until two years ago, when scientists discovered a way to transform the wasteland through cutting-edge agricultural technology and comprehensive soil management. Xie Qi and his crew came to Shizuishan two years ago to grow a trial species in the saline alkali soils with hopes of providing a solution to food security challenges. We discovered the gene in sorghum through genomics and big data. It's called AT1, which stands for alkaline tolerance. Sorghum originated in the Sahara Desert, where the soils are high in saline and alkaline, so the crop's gene provides higher tolerance. We use this gene variant in sorghum and other crops to enhance their resilience and increase crop yield in such soils. The yield of the test field has exceeded 600 gene per mu. That's equivalent to 300 kilograms in about 660 square meters, which is beyond Xie's expectation. We are certainly very delighted that our research has paid off, and we sincerely hope our work can really contribute to society. China has about 500 million mu of such soil with the potential for utilization. If we can make use of the vast silly alkali land, China's food production is set to grow along with farmers' incomes. China has one-tenth of the world's total saline alkali land. President Xi Jinping emphasized the importance of comprehensive management of such land during his inspection of Ningxia in June. Besides planting more resilient crops, experts in Shizuishan are also restoring the arid soils through scientific practices. Through two years of comprehensive management, soil salinity and alkalinity at this farm have both dropped significantly. The once airy land has become more fertile. The yield of corn silage per mu has also grown from around 1.8 to 2.2 tons. The modern agricultural project in Shizuishan has proven to be commercially feasible with a complete supply chain for several downstream industries. A local distillery has already placed an order for sorghum this year, while corn silage is harvested and processed for animal feed. Yang says in the coming years, the project will tap into more desolate soils in China's Great Northwest and unleash their potential.